So this is going to be a very special Let's Play Skyrim tonight because uh, Evan has been promising me a Skyrim surprise for probably a week and a half now. Oh, it's since, it was since before your computer. It was well broke. before the computer broke. Uh, it's yeah. It's maybe been a month. Long no, time. No, no, it hasn't been a month. But for a long maybe time. Maybe two weeks. For a long time. I've been hinting at a, a special surprise for Rose. And something that Rose loves. And we are getting ready to reveal that surprise. But first you get to look at a mammoth for ten minutes. Alright, so uh, you may remember this house was a hole in the ground. It was, yes. Um, look I, at there, you got furniture. It's significantly larger and it is full of furniture. We got a nice house here. We got a kitchen over here. Fairly well furnished. And the way hearth fire works is uh it's not just like hey servant furnish my house you have to come here to the workbench right for uh -huh. each room okay and then you say i would like to add some barrels to this room okay and you have to do that for every single thing so, so it just like you make a barrel and it so, just like sticks it yeah i mean i mean this is the yeah you can't place them but you know you know adding those barrels actually added a barrel and a sack of flour and a, a fish barrel and that was probably separate, but maybe there's some leaks there. One of the things I remember from Morrow when he was spending just a stupid amount of time arranging things in my house. I think with this place you can move stuff. Yeah. Well, oh, with yeah. a lot of stuff. Some it's, stuff it's is kind of hard. Well, I don't know. I don't know about in the Xbox version, but in, in the PC version, definitely. It's, it's, it's hard to move things with precision. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know there was a, a mod for Oblivion specifically for books. Mm. So people could arrange bookshelves easier. But yeah, I built the entire house. It is, uh, it's, the, it's got the entryway, which I've decked out. And it's is got that a pool table? A pool table. Oh, no. no, that's it. It's a display, it, it, display case. I could put something in there. I haven't yet. <laughs> um, so it's got the entryway, and then it's got the back room here. There's a cellar down there, but I haven't put anything in it. This is the storage room. It is completely decked out. Everything you can put in this room, I plates. have. Do you have plates in there? I'm sure this, What? It gave me another option. I, I had everything in here, but it gave me some more <laughs> options. Uh, and then I, I got some storage, so I put a bunch of my shit in here. Good. So Good. so my carry weight should be less of an issue. And right. then over in this side room, this is the bedroom. It's a nice double-decker double bed here, so I can sleep here. If I get married, my, my husband or wife could sleep with me. We got two child-sized beds. And they get some... Some children's books and some snowberries to play with because we all know kids love to play with snowberries. So this is this is uh, this is how the hearth fire expansion is. You get to build a giant house. Cool. You get to equip a fire spell. Apparently, and, and this is now available for PC. This is now available for PC. In the last video, uh, I was talking about how awesome it was because it was Xbox exclusive. But by the time that video gets posted, it will no longer be Xbox exclusive. Ha uh ha. -huh. But the the really special thing about this nice family home I have built is what is outside. Also, I am almost level 10 just from, like, smithing. And uh, I had a couple adventures in town. Boring stuff. It did get attacked by uh, Falkreath. just had a random vampire attack. So I don't know if that's part oh. of Dawn Guard or what. Mm, I, I think it might be. Because I don't remember that happening in my game, which doesn't mean that it's Dawn Guard, but it certainly sounds so like a Dawn Guard. Some workbench, grindstone. Sort of thing. Got a smelter outside. We got a nice little stable up here. So if I ever get a horsey, you could live there. A nice pen for some roosters or something. The balcony area up here. I'm gonna become ethereal, apparently. <laughs> I, I suppose become ethereal sounds like balcony area, a certain amount. But here's the special part, and I think this is content that is exclusive to Hearthfire. I do not think this was in the game before. Over here is my personal apiary. What? And if you go inside, I have pet bees. No, don't look at my apparel. You ruined it. Well, I know you could get honeycombs out of beehives before. You could find beehives outside bear caves because bears like bees. Bears do love. They love their honey. Yes. But look at that. You can get a, a bee. bee. 
I got five pet bees. That's a bee. That's an annoying part of the voice. I didn't say keys, I said bees. Bees! <laughs> I gave you a bee. Hooray. A, we have a house with pet bees now. That is awesome. What is more important, having pet bees or adopting a child? Having pet bees. Absolutely. So there you go, Hearthfire exclusive, pet bees. Awesome. How much is that? I'm going to have to buy it. Hearthfire is five bucks.